continue our coverage of the SCI UK 2025. I am now meeting with uh, Amelia Gould, general manager of Maritime at Helsing, a new uh, defense tech company. Amelia, good morning, great to meet you. Good morning, thank you so much for coming to our stand. Can you please first tell us about uh, Helsing, what is uh, the company about? Yeah, so Helsing is uh, Europe's largest defense tech company. We're very proud to be uh, here in Europe, bringing our mission is AI to protect democracies. And where we focus is about bringing out an autonomous mass to our customers. So smart enabled assets that can you can leverage at scale and to protect our European democracies. All right. Uh, we're standing beside, next to an interesting uh, looking system that you call SG-1. What is it? So this is our underwater glider that we launched about four months ago into the public domain. So about uh, how you can think very differently and our customers can think differently about how to do wide area surveillance in the underwater domain. One of the things we heard all the time from our customers is their biggest problem was, was knowing what's going on beneath the oceans and understanding the threats that we face, some of the things that have been in the news around critical infrastructure sabotage, um, other activities by our adversaries and what they're doing in our waters, but preventing our freedom to navigate. And so we very much focus on taking a complete different approach to others around saying how do you conduct uh, wide area surveillance at scale in a smart way in the underwater domain and that's where the glider came in and in effect it's a dual use product so it's been used uh, a long time in oil and gas for environmental monitoring uh, to do data gathering and surveillance and what we have done is make it suitable for defense by adding AI at the edge to perform uh, detection, classification, to, to do that subject, to report back to customers what are the things that are going on under the under the waves. And the software part is key indeed. Absolutely. The software part is so important because to be able to do mass and to be able to scale uh, responsibly and to be able to do it at scale, you have to manage two things. You have to worry about the data, particularly underwater. There is no way you can have enough communications to be able to transmit data back. And as we've learned in Ukraine, uh, that can be disrupted, denied. So having a system that's not reliant on high bandwidth network is important. For that, you need AI at the edge. And the other part is about access to trained operators and skilled operators and as soon as you start scaling up systems, again, as people found with first-person view drones, you can't have a one-to-one -one relationship. So how do you have a one-to-many where one person can control many things at once and get a bigger picture? And the analogy I would use would be more like satellites and ISR satellites and constellations, you know, how we leverage that in the same way, but doing it under the water. Lastly, Amelia, uh, is this uh, ready? Are you currently testing it? You're here at the SCI UK, so surely you're pitching it to a number of European navies? Yes, yeah, so I was really pleased to announce at the beginning of this week that we um, met a challenge we were given by the customer to put it in the water. We announced we were going to put it in the water by the end of the year. Uh, we were in the water uh, in July at the British Underwater Test Facility with, Kinet with our partners at Kinetic and Blue Ocean uh, testing it. We've been testing it all summer, but the key thing was taking up to there to do some independent trials and we're continuously trials and developing it but it is ready to go as you can see the key thing for us is that we never stand still so the question of is it ready is always a well you can take it but we are going to continually iterate it this isn't a thing there's always we can always feel we can do more uh, and it's always what do we add on how do we evolve more announcements to come about other things and where we're taking this very well, Amelia, thank you very much. Thank you so much.